Oh, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Welcome. <clears throat> How's everybody doing this today? How are you guys this evening? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit late today. I've not been feeling that great today. I've had a pretty hard day, so this ain't going to be a long stream. I just wanted to come on and uh, do a ready recap, say what's up, and that was basically it. Um, I have some bad news, which some of you may not care or know about, but some people will, if you've been watching for a while. My dog that I've had for probably about 14 years is <laughs> fucking dying, bro. So... I've been feeling really shitty today. <clears throat> like a couple hours ago, my fucking parents uh, hit me up and well, they just text me and they're just like, yo, your fucking dog Patrick is got brain or no, he's got a brain tumor and liver cancer and he's going to die. <laughs> so <clears throat> that was not good for me to hear today. So I might be going to Florida uh, when we need to put him down. I don't know when that's going to be, but whenever the time comes, I guess, probably going to be soon if they texted me that. He's been having, like, seizures and all this other shit, so. And he's, like, fucking old as shit, so. So i just not been feeling great today. It just sucks. <laughs> like, psych, you know, the cycle of life and all that is great, but it just sucks because it fucking hits me pretty hard because I fucking have not only but just have had that dog for so long before I moved out of my parents' house and, like, took care of the dog and, like, all this other shit, but, like, growing up, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really, I didn't have too many friends, so it's like that dog was my fucking one of my only friends, so it just really sucks. So I just been having a really hard day today. My parents sent me this uh, photo and they're just like, yeah, if you want to fucking see your dog before we put him down, then you should come over when the time comes. So I'm like, okay, just let me know. And it's not, I mean, it's like uh, just a nice photo of him laying in the bed, you know, all that nice stuff. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it just sucks, dude. I always contemplated this in my head. I'm like, oh, you know, if something happens to, you know, somebody in my family, it's like, okay, what am I going to, how am I going to react? Because I don't really, I haven't seen, yeah, I don't really see my dog or my parents that much because I don't live in Florida. But <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, it's still like, I never, I didn't think I'd be like that sad. If something happened, but I was wrong. It just sucks. Because it unlocks all of the, you know, past and, you know, the old memories that you had with, you know, the people that you've hung out with. Or, you know, in this case, my dog. Yeah, don't, Nico, d don't, don't donate today. It's, I just have the donations off, bro. It's like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear it. Uh, but thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Um, 
yeah, I just came on to do a Reddit recap because I wanted to bring it, attention to it. And, um, you know, because yesterday people enjoyed that stream, so it's good. And there was some good stuff on Reddit, so I wanted to just post it or just show it. I'm sorry. I feel like shit, but how can I not, you know, I just do. I mean, he's like 14 years old, so he's, he's, you know, he's old. I remember getting him when I was in like seventh grade or something or sixth grade or I don't even remember sixth or seventh grade. And that was cool. I want to get, you know, it's, I've been talking about wanting to get a new dog and, you know, I probably will. This will probably push me to just get an, get another one because, like, just to help the sadness, you know. But the thing about getting animals is, you know, it's great for, like, 10 years, and then it's, like, then it sucks for a couple days when they die, so... I mean, if I go to Florida soon, then I'll probably, you know, do a stream with my dog or something before we put him down. But so you guys can see him too. For the last time, so and he's not gonna feel better, you know. He's cancer and brain tumor and shit, so he's like, he's he's fucked. Like, there's no coming back from that shit, so, I mean, especially when you're old, you know. It just came, it just, it just came out of nowhere, because, you know, miniature pinchers, these things live to, like, 18, 20 years old, so, he's, he should still have, like, another four to six years, but, it's whatever. I don't know what it is, it just seems like everything is... I don't know. The past like couple months have just been awful. <laughs> Everything's just coming, coming uh, all at once, you know. So it's it just sucks. How do you guys cope with, you know, somebody dying in your family? I consider dog family, so. I don't really know how I cope with stuff. I just, I don't know, either get another one to make me feel better or I just get over it eventually. Smoking a blunt ain't gonna fix nothing. Uh, that's not, yeah, talking to people about it. Yeah, I mean, I talked to my girlfriend about it, but I'm more of a person who likes to handle things on his own, you know, I, I like to just, I like to just do it alone, like, I, I did talk to her about it for, like, a little bit, and then I just went back in, in my room, because I'm just, like, you know, I'm just, like, I don't know, I, I don't like talking to people about shit like this, emotional shit, because it's, like, I just find it annoying to listen to and, and frustrating, so I usually just, you know, handle all this shit myself. Thank you, John. I remember when, uh, you know, my grandparents died. That was pretty hard because I spent a lot of time with them. But, you know, I mean, I got over that in a couple weeks. But obviously I have a job to do, so I'm not going to be depressed about this. You know, I can get over things. I can at least suppress things pretty well. But, like, today it's hard. Like is fucking hard. But I don't want to, you know, depress you guys or anything, but I just can't help it. I'm just not in a great mood right now. But let's do a Reddit recap. And let's talk about that. Um, 
if anyone just got here, I'm just I was just talking about how my dog's fucking gonna die, so that's all. Alrighty. Um let's fucking look at this shit real quick. All right, first thing we're going to look at here. This is, I don't know what this video is. I don't know where it came from, but that looks like some old ass news. So we're just going to go right past it. But hey, shout out to Greek. He did help me there. That was good shit. Greek's a good dude. Um, she's just shy. Yeah, no, yeah. She, she was, uh, Kimberly's sad, or Kimberly's a, a shy girl, but you know, sometimes a little bit of drinks, you know, get her out of her comfort zone. That's just how it works. So that's good. When I start with the gay shit, let's see. These guys are just, they're wrong. Anyone would suck a dick for a million dollars. And that's what, but that's what I said. I said, I would suck a dick for a million dollars. Anybody would suck a dick for a million dollars. If you're wrong, or if you're fucking, if, if you don't think you would, then you're fucking wrong. Like, I'm sorry. If somebody came up to you with a million dollars in cash, I w you would suck that dick. That shit takes literally 10 minutes of your life. 10 minutes of being gay as fuck for a million dollars. I would do that. I don't care how fucking gay I would look. Unless you have morals, I guess. But, you know, a million dollars is some good shit. Uh, yeah. yeah, Patrick's a good dog. Let me see, the moment when Brent can finally read the comments. <laughs> hey, he's he's he learned to read a couple years ago, so he he uh, he just doesn't know how to write, I'm pretty sure. So Patrick, once again, the oldest of old fags. Stevie G with the big neck. So what'd you all think about Stevie G last night? I thought he was funny. I don't know. I think he's a funny ass dude, to be honest. I think uh, he he does remind me a little bit of Mexican Andy. He's he's got that cringe factor, but he's fucking. He was pretty funny, dude. And you know what I mean. That's why he's one of the well, one of the popular, one of the more popular Discord moderators. So he's fine. Was he securing his virginity? <laughs> He, was, he actually had that shirt from when he was, uh, I'm pretty sure, at UFC X2. He uh, wore that shirt or, or something like that. I'm pretty sure to be security, but then he ended up fighting instead. But he's a good dude. Let me see. Let's, let's see the clip. Kimberly makes out with another girl. <laughs> Like I said, a couple of drinks go inside inside of you, and you really get out of your comfort zone. Uh, I didn't think she would do something like that, but that's fucking hot. I mean, I definitely saw a new side of her, which I fucking appreciate. Um, and I really wish that uh, we could have motherfucking an eight some. Can we get Bjorn eating pizza to the front page? And you've made it. Here you are to the front page. Uh, thank you, dude. Can't stream two days in a row. I'm here. I am. It's two days in a row. Here we go. Scuffed Alyssa Violet. She was funny girl. All her friends were not so funny though. They tried, but they should have gave my boy CVG a makeout session. What the fuck? I hope you pass your test, Stevie G, with Jigglypuff. He doesn't exactly look like Jigglypuff. I would say he's more of a Kirby. Jigglypuff's a girl, but that's good. I heard you and your girlfriend are having problems. I hope you and Caroline can work things out. <laughs> you know, he, this, that, 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 reminds, that guy reminded me of the man bun fucking memes, dude. He reminded me of the man bun, uh, you know, the, the memes that people posted on Reddit. 
because like this is the real life version of him he literally was like oh hey yeah i remember watching you th doing this and it was like two years ago i'm like wow dude you're really outdated here but uh, i'm surprised you even recognized me when you saw me to be honest because i've don't look i don't look that much of the same from two years ago so that's fucking that's crazy dude and here we have uh i don't know what this is i guess that's supposed to be greek and that's me. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. What, this is like some Star Wars meme, but I don't really get it because I've not really watched Star Wars. But that's the big slug thing. And then I guess I'm fucking Princess Layla or some shit. I don't really know. But that's a good fucking photo. Penis projection. Yes, this chick. I don't know what she was saying, but she's on drugs. But hey, she did, she was funny. I did appreciate her interaction. That was nice. Uh, let me see. Congrats on the IRL stream, but get real. Fuck nut. If I wanted to see girls hugging a walrus, I'd go to Sea World. I demand better. I like your office idea. It solves a lot of problems for you. A CX storefront would be dope. Yep, I do want to plan on that. I just need to, uh, you know, it just takes some effort to get working. But I'm working on it. It just, uh, it's going to take some time. Put Paul and CX out of your mind for a second. So we just take a few seconds to appreciate Pac. That's some good shit. Let me see. What is this? Studio mock-up. That's a pretty good mock-up, but it's going to be a little bit different than that. But that was pretty good. I would say, uh, you know, I'm going to add a little bit more things to that. But that's pretty good, I would say. I don't really know. I mean, just two chairs and a fucking laptop. I mean, that makes sense. 12-year-olds, when they steal their mom's credit card, donate $5 to their favorite YouTuber. <laughs> I mean, not everyone who donates is 12. A lot of uh, the fight with Hampton Brandon is on here. I don't I I know why he posted that video because he wants more attention to himself. Like that shit's so fucking old. That shit's like I don't even know how long that happened to go, like six months ago. Like who cares? But Greek did get him right here when I was getting choked out, so But I mean, hey, I feel bad for anybody who bought the footage when uh, it first came out. You got him with the bop. Should have taken off the backpack. Eh, I really cared more about uh, getting that footage than with the backpack on than not, but it's fine. So there we go. Reddit recap. Fucking, I wish there was more memes from yesterday, but it's fine. In due time, they will come. Um... I don't even know what to talk about. I just wanted to do a Reddit recap. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I just motherfucking, yeah, I got beat up. Yeah, it happens, dude. But if you could take it with stride, then that makes you a strong person. <clears throat> uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know why I'm live. I just wanted to, like, come live and say what's up and, like, talk to y'all. But, like try to make me feel better and shit but it, it's kind of hard i don't know i was looking at some dogs online and there's not really any miniature pinchers around austin so i'd have to drive outside of austin to find one there was one that was 10 years old but i'm like i'm not gonna adopt the fucking dog that's 10 years old because i know probably a year or two later this shit the motherfucking dog's gonna get like an illness or something or cancer or some shit like some some fucking problem I don't, I don't know why anyone would adopt a 10-year-old dog. That was the only one that they had. And I want a miniature pincher because they're very smart and they're very good dogs. I don't want to get any sort of, uh, you know, big dogs. I'm scared of them because when I was younger, I had a Dalmatian. And I, it fucking attacked me. So I don't want a, Dal I don't want a big dog because, like, if those things go rogue, they can fuck you up. Thank you, MK. Appreciate it, man. Um <clears throat> Dude, you know, contrary to popular belief, I can take care of, of animals. You know what I mean? Like, pepper's not a good representation. Cage animals I'm not good at. But an actual thing that's, like, physical, like, on me, it's good. And I would get one that's already potty trained and shit. So I'd probably adopt one that's, like, at least two or three years old just so I don't have to train it because, fucking, I don't got time to potty train a dog. Why would your own dog attack you? I don't know. It was a Dalmatian. Dalmatians have temperament issues. 
and it got fucking i don't know i went up to pet the i don't really remember i was like five years old but i went up to pet the dog or something and it just like it bit me it, it like bit me and like was trying to attack me my mom like fucking pulled it back and then we had to give the dog away because it was just like having issues so yeah um i don't know i don't really remember like i said i just remember that it attacked me and it fucking made me not ever want to get a big dog in my life and i'm i'm scared of big dogs like i don't like big dogs they scare the fuck out of me so i uh, have not had good experiences with them so we've always had small dogs you know my mom had two uh, two yorkies you know patrick was a min pin chihuahua mix so thank you eight boy appreciate it homie that sucks. A real friendly big dog that are loving. I mean, min pins are pretty loving. So the thing, I want a dog that's small, that's smart, that's energetic, and has a lot of personality. The thing about min pins that I really like is that they are small ass dogs, but they think that they're big ass dogs. And with you know, so they're smart and they like are they're good guard dogs. You know, they're like this big, so they're not really guard dogs, but they act like guard dogs. So <clears throat> it's kind of cute and it's really uh, it's really nice. So, you know, that's why I like those kind of dogs. I wasn't scared of Hyphonics' dog because I got to know it a little bit. But at first I was, I was, I was, I'm not like scared. I'm not going to like run away from big dogs, but I'm definitely like on edge with them for sure. Do something big nose. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it, homie. We're not doing anything, but thank you, dude. I'm not feeling great today. <clears throat> afraid of a golden retriever Dude, I, I just you know like i said bad experiences with big dogs i don't know but yeah i don't know i might uh after this whole patrick thing or like i don't know maybe sooner i don't really know i might just get you know go out we can stream getting a fucking dog or something but like i said i did some research and i couldn't find any min pins that were in austin if you guys know of any miniature pinchers that are in austin or near austin let me know uh preferably like two years old or older two two to three years old is what i'm looking for but i literally couldn't find any the only one that they had was 10 years old and i don't want to fucking adopt a 10 year old dog uh i also want a male dog i don't want female dogs i don't know what it is but male dogs are just fucking better uh i've had female dogs and they're just fucking annoying so i like male dogs they're very energetic and nice so Lock your dog in the bathroom for three days, no food. No, I gave it food. I didn't lock it in the bathroom for three days. I went out for 12 hours. I put it in the bathroom, a big-ass master be bedroom, mind you, the size of this fucking room that I'm in currently, with food and potty pad and water and everything. And I come back, you know, 12 hours later, and I let it out, fucking take it for a walk, and then motherfucking back in the bathroom. So it's, like a, it's just like a big cage. And that was only because that dog was actually costing me a shitload of money by tearing up my whole fucking apartment. Uh, like the walls are fucked up, the couch was fucked up, everything was getting fucked up. So, and you know, and then I gave it back to the uh, the original owner. But that was I was really annoyed at that dog, and obviously I didn't want it running around my apartment, and I didn't have a dark, I didn't have a dog cage. So, you know what I mean? I, I just wanted to while I was out put it somewhere where it's not gonna fuck my house up. Let me see. Just remember to tell everybody you care about you because because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. Uh, well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Nelly, during closet stream, you didn't do anything for her. Burger said, well, no, it's not my dog. I didn't. I mean, it was literally one night where I had Nelly, so I didn't really. I mean, I, I gave her food. That's what I did. So, you know what I mean? Eat a jar of peanut butter in remembrance. Unfortunately, I don't have any peanut butter, but uh, and I'm not really that hungry either. So, unfortunately. Just rescue a dog so much more re rewarding. Well, that's what I would do. I'm not going to like a, like a pet shop or anything. I would <clears throat> go to like a humane society or something and get a dog. You know, ones that were like abused before and I pick it up and adopt it and, you know, that. It's a lot better if you go to a fucking uh, if you go to a pet shop and get a dog, you're doing it wrong because those dogs are, are bred to be sold. And typically they have like genetic issues and they get sick really quick and, you know, all this other shit. Abuse dogs are 10 times more work. You'll get annoyed. Well, that's why I want to get a dog that's already a couple years old. So 
it's not a baby, so it's not it, you know it's less less uh, less high maintenance. So get Kimberly on stream. What her thoughts on Patrick and the dog situation? I mean, there's nothing for her to say. So it's not her dogs, so she doesn't have anything to say. Just get I just get stoned ice. Well, I don't have any weed, and I'd rather not just smoke fucking weed to drown out any sorrows I have. That's not healthy. I'd rather just deal with it myself. But I don't know. Why are you sorrowed, buddy? Uh, my fucking because my dog's gonna die. So. I know, I'm hitting this vape every fucking two seconds, but it's it's making me feel better. It's like very satisfying to hit. So I don't know. I just had a bad day today. That's all. How many pods a day were you smoking? I mean, this one. This is. I'm still in the same pod from. This is the same pod within like three days. So. Not as much, but when I was in the mansion a month ago, I was doing like two pods a day, which is bad. But, you know, I was going through some stressful shit. So I was like, all right, well, let me just smoke this fucking pod, I guess. Uh, yo, this shit is good as fuck shooter. That's what I'm saying. I don't really want to talk to anyone on Discord. I don't really feel like doing any of that. I'm just not in the mood for it, dude. I'm just uh, sitting here talking with you guys and myself, so. What flavor is that? It's just, it's berry. It's like a nerd's berry flavor. So it tastes like candy. I don't want to play Rust either. Like, I just, I'm not really in the mood to do anything right now. Like, I haven't had any food all day. I had like some breakfast and then I heard the news and I haven't had any food. So I've just been like sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> That's what my day has consisted of. So no, not baiting donations hard. I don't even have donations on. They're off because I don't want to fucking hear anything. I just want to talk. But some of the people in the chat are not making me feel any better at all. And that's, that sucks. Some people, a lot of people in the chat are making me feel better. But some people in the chat are just being assholes. And I do not want to fucking see that shit right now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. The hearts in the chat. Thank you. But no, I have not spoken to anybody recently. I, uh, besides Stevie G, Shy, and my girlfriend, I haven't spoke to anybody. Uh, Anthony, my, 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 this old dude I used to hang out with in high school. <laughs> Jack off and make you feel better. You know, I haven't been horny, so. I haven't been horny in like a week, so. I, uh, I just prefer, like, it's, it, you can't jack off, you're not horny, you know? If you can't get hard, it's like, fucking, I mean, you, you come flaccid, but that's not, doesn't feel good. Coming flaccid f makes you feel like shit. It's not the vape, dude. I've, I've been vaping for the past year, and I've been able to jack off for most of the year, so. You mentioned running a streaming headquarters thing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the process of getting that shit done. And if, and to the people, the fucking the the people that won the flights, uh, like two or three weeks ago. Don't worry, I haven't got forgotten about you. Just keep an eye on the DMs, and I'll fucking get that done when I'm in the position to do so. AKA when I get somewhere to bring people, that's not gonna leak my goddamn address. So. Let me see, you're totally beat down by drug use. 
You've ground your senses into the ground. This is punish punishment for your self-indulgence. I mean, I sure, dude. I mean, I, whatever you say, dude. I don't do fucking drugs, but all right. It's pretty normal to feel, you know, good and bad sometimes. It's like I'm a human. It's not drug use. I'm not a fucking robot, dude. Thank you, Baldo. Appreciate it, homie. Yeah, I mean, just replacing it with another is a temp is is you know temporary fix for sure. Where's the robot? The robot is literally in the room over there. Literally, it's right outside this door. It's just not on because I don't have anywhere to let the robot roam without it, of course, leaking my address. And then the new robot. That shit got scrapped, so. Where's Kimberly? She's uh, she's in the living room, just like on her phone or something, watching TV, whatever the fuck. Let me see. I, you seem like you don't even like to stream anymore. You used to look like you were having fun while streaming. So this is why I don't like going live when I don't feel good <laughs> because it's like, like, no, dude, if you watched yesterday's stream, I obviously have fun streaming. I just don't feel very good right now. You know, I'm just not in the, not in the mood. That's all. You haven't been in the mood for months. I mean, I disagree with that. I was in the mood yesterday. Thought about trying new content? Like what? I mean, the office thing would be just that, basically. How come you barely interact with your audience nowadays? Hmm. I interact with my audience. I mean, you have to go on Discord. I interact a lot on Discord, either through Kimberly's account or because I can't, I don't have access to mine or whatever. So, I don't really tweet as much as I should, but I uh, definitely go on Discord a whole bunch. Sometimes I type in offline chat as well, but that's. Uh, not very much. Thoughts on other big streamers streaming 12 plus hours a day? I mean, hey, good on them, dude. When's there going to be another event? Uh, when I get the office thing sorted out, probably. I mean, I guess I could just always hold an event in a park or something, but. You know, in due time. I was thinking about getting a, uh, I don't know if I should stream this because I, like, I was originally going to stream it, but like, I have to make sure that I make some calls first and make sure they let me stream it. But I was going to stream going and, you know, getting some, like, since we're in Texas, getting, like, uh, like some kind of firearm or something for my house. So if somebody breaks in my house, you know, motherfucking, I can defend myself. And I feel like that would be a good stream, like, motherfucking going and picking out a firearm. But I don't know. I have to call some places and make sure they would let me. I was thinking about a shotgun. For my house, you know what I mean? So, like, because I'm not a very good aim. You guys have seen me shoot on stream plenty of times. I'm not good at aiming, but if I get a fucking shotgun, like, I don't have to aim. Like, that shit spreads. So I would get fucking... I'd probably get five shotguns. I'd probably get one for every square inch of the house. <laughs> so, because you never know what's going to happen if somebody breaks in your house. You don't know where you're going to be. So you would put one in every section of the house. So if somebody breaks in your house... You can fucking always have one, like, in a drawer somewhere. 
I mean, I don't really know because if you buy one firearm for your house and it's, I don't know, on the other side of the house, then what? Like, how do you, how do you get to it? And then I would also have one to put in the car as well because you don't know if your car is going to get fucking robbed either. You know, fucking somebody tries to jack your car when you're, when you're driving, so. I do have the taser, but that shit ain't going to work in Texas where everyone's fucking strapped, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? The taser is fucking useless, bro. In California, the taser is fine, but in, in Texas, the taser is a fucking baby thing. Like, it's, it's what babies use. What if someone breaks in and finds one of the shotguns first? Eh, I mean... They would be hidden. They wouldn't be out in the open. So, and they'd be in like a locked drawer with like a key. So they don't have access to it. You know what I mean? I would be the only one with a key with access to the drawers. Thank you, Brent. Appreciate it, homie. But like I said, I don't really know. The be what is the best self-defense thing for, your, for a home? I asked a couple of people and they did say the shotguns. But I, I looked up some shotguns, and they're all, like, double barrels and stuff. Like, I don't really, I don't know about guns. Like, I'm not a gun person, but I should get some sort of self-defense thing for my house, especially because I have some idiots that do message me that are that say shit like, I will fuck, I'm going to find you, and blah, blah, blah. Like, you think I'm paranoid, but, like, it's better safe than sorry, you know what I mean? A Glock's the best home defense weapon. Yeah, but I'm not a very good aim. Like, I'm, I don't aim. Like, I'm not good with shooting guns. Like, you guys have seen it. Like, I'm not, like, you know, so a Glock is fine. It's more convenient, but I'm not good at shooting at all. Maybe, like, a Remington 870 Magnum. No, 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 not a Magnum. No, that shit's going to be fucking hard. Like, I, I'm not, like, I'm a fucking baby, dude. I cannot, like, that shit's going to hurt me. So, maybe, like, a minigun or something. I was thinking an RPG, but I'm just kidding, obviously. But uh, I don't know. Make sure you have a good alarm system in your home. So, I mean, there is an alarm system. I have security cameras and a home alarm system. Uh, so, uh, you know, and I always keep it on even when I'm home because a motherfucker, like, I just don't trust motherfuckers. <laughs> so I do have an alarm system, but it's like, what's that going to do? Like, okay, I'm alerted someone's in the house. Now what? Get a Shockwave 12 gauge. It's cheap. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that, dude. Can I voice chat with you on Discord sometime? I mean, sometimes I go on Discord voice chat. Very rarely, though. I don't like voice chat on Discord because it gets AIDS really quick. But I do type a lot and chill. Sometimes CX as well. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Phineas is going to hack your cameras again. Well, unlike the mansion where they had the password, unlike the mansion where the password was literally admin, uh, my password and my security cameras are very, very unhackable. You know what I mean? Like they're very long and they're very, you know, full of numbers and letters and shit like that, symbols and all this other shit. This is what Stevie was talking about. Let's see. What is this? Let me see. What is this uh, thing here? Realistically, not five shotguns. I was just kidding. But I'd probably get like one for the car and then one for the house. I mean, my house ain't that big. I don't need to get that many. But yo, Stevie, you said this shit was cheap. This is $400. Is this how much guns really are? $400? I mean, that does look like a good home self-defense weapon. But I don't really know the price of weapons. And like $400 seems a little bit like over the top. Yeah, that's cheap. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's considered fucking cheap, then. Hey, I guess uh, I guess that's what I'll be getting then. But then I would also need to go to the shooting range a bunch because I've only shot a shotgun like a couple times. And I'm, it hurts like it fucking hurts, dude. So. That like the recoil fucking like it it hits your shoulder it fucking hurts so I'd need to like practice with it otherwise you know what's the point obviously the odds of someone breaking my house is not very high but you know the odds are there especially when you get you know people threatening you every so often so I'm 
Go and rent some before you buy it. Well, I'd probably just buy it, dude. I don't need to rent anything. Because what's the point of renting? Like, I'm not going to use it. Like, I'll probably never use it once I buy it. It's literally just if somebody breaks in my house. And I don't really know what the laws are. I'm pretty sure, like, in Texas, if someone's on your property, you can just bear arms. Like, you don't need to... Like, you don't need to know... You, you don't need to think that they're being threatening. I don't really know, like I said, the law, but from what I've heard, if somebody... If you, like walk out of your bedroom and there's some random fucking guy in your living room you can just fucking pull out the gun and be like get the fuck out of the house and like i don't think the police would i think they would be on your side you know what i mean let me see don't get a shockwave your scrawny ass needs a stock let me see what is this I mean, obviously, I would get a stock because I'm pretty sure you can put a stock in anything, but I would get a stock because, yeah, I'm not very strong, so it would hurt. So something like that could be better. As long as you're not trigger happy, you're good. You know, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of, like, it takes a certain kind of person to, to shoot somebody. It does. And. I'm obviously not that kind of person. If I have to, I fucking will. If somebody's in my fucking house in the middle of the night, I will fucking get, I will, uh, I will destroy them. But I don't want to do that. You know, I'll feel bad for probably the rest of my life if I have to do that. Let me see. I have a shot. I have shot a shockwave so many times that it doesn't have much recoil. I've seen some dude's grandma shoot one and she was fine. I mean, well, I guess the shooting the guns at a gun store would be the only way to know. I would have no problem shooting somebody that attacks me or breaks my house. Yeah, I mean, I would have no problem with shooting somebody who breaks my house. The issue arises that I would feel bad for the rest of my life after it. The only time I wouldn't feel bad is if they were literally about to kill me. But I, got, but I, I, I killed them first. You know what I mean? That would be the only time I wouldn't feel bad. You would be asleep. Well, if somebody, no, I being asleep doesn't mean anything because I have double bolted locks on my bedroom door. So obviously it didn't come with the house. I fucking replaced the locks with a double bolted lock and a fingerprint scanner. So, you know what I mean? Like there's, unless they break the door down, they're not fucking getting in that goddamn room. Those are both hella gay. Get a Keltec KSG. I mean, that seems like some fucking like military shit, some over the top shit. Thank you, Pro Nation. I appreciate it, homie. I'm still here, dog. Get an Uzi and spray everywhere. <laughs> no, like, because the thing about Uzis or like anything that's like automatic, not only do you need a special license for that, but the bullets are really small in an Uzi. They're nine millimeter. So if you shoot somebody with a nine millimeter round, they're not going to go down. You know what I mean? Like you, like they, 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 with the adrenaline pumping through their body, unless you get a good shot on them, they're not going down, which obviously is not a great self-defense weapon. Cause I'm not a good shot. Like if I shoot a motherfucker in his arm, he's not going down, especially if you've got adrenaline going through him and he has a gun. Like that's, like, there's no way. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Why am I so scared? Well, I'm not scared, but I'm just like, I take precautions, you know? I'm just, you know, uh, I mean, anybody would take the precautions if they got motherfuckers trying to threaten them. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people that stream themselves threatening me. So it's like, okay, well, I guess I have to prepare myself in case this crazy fucker or crazy fuckers that have nothing to lose come and try to do whatever the fuck, you know? How do you think they'll get in knocking? Well, somebody could break into my house through, like, a window or something, but then I would obviously have my double-bolted lock bedroom so they can't get into that. Get some body armor, too. I mean, I probably would... 
buy like some sort of like cheap Kevlar, but that seems over the top. Because what do I do? Have that in my closet or something? Like it's a little bit over the top there. Like I don't need all that shit. You know, I don't need to dress in full fucking body armor. Because most of the time, if some burglar comes in and they see the homeowner with a gun, they're probably not going to stick around. They're probably going to want to leave and run away. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know. I'm not a fucking burglar, but I feel like if I walked out of a goddamn, out of my bedroom with a shotgun, they would run. They would not stay. The only thing that is worrying is that there would be multiple people. Because I feel like if you do a home burglary, you have like multiple people with you. And that's like where the problem arises. Because motherfucker, I'm one dude. <laughs> How about next week? Or whenever we can go to some gun stores and look for a defense gun for your home. I mean, sure, Stevie. I mean, I was probably going to do that sooner, but anytime, bro. I'm so paranoid. It's crazy. I mean, do y'all think I'm paranoid? I don't think so. Like, I think this is like a normal thing. Like, having a, you know, taking precautions. I don't think that's paranoia i think that's normal i mean if you had if you had people threatening to kill you all the fucking time would you not take precautions i mean it's just i mean i know most of these fuckers are like trolls or whatever and it's like i don't it's like all right whatever fucking block you but you know you, you don't really know and that's the scary thing and i wasn't really that scared like a year ago but nowadays with like people going crazy and going out and fucking shooting this, shooting that, and they fucking live stream themselves fucking shooting, you know, stuff up. And, it, you know, that's the scary part because people want attention. You know what I mean? It's not really the vendetta they have against me. It's just the attention. And I'm a very open person. I talk to a lot of fans and a lot of viewers that come up to me. And that's the that's the worry. Can you visit Toronto? Uh, I mean, one day, dude. One day. <laughs> dude, I don't need no fucking AK-47, dude. That's retarded. That's like... That's, that's, oh, that's so over the top, dude. I mean, I already have surveillance cameras, so that's pretty good. Just buy a tank. I was thinking about buying a like a, a helicopter, but I don't know. This is kind of out of my budget, dude. <laughs> Just kidding, but. I mean, I definitely do have a little bit of paranoia, I suppose. I've had guns pulled on me probably three times in my streaming career, so or at least threatened by it. So it's like kind of most of those were not in my house. None of those were in my house. So it's like, doesn't matter. Cause I, I'm not going to conceal carry because that, and I don't, I don't think that's smart to do. And I don't really like guns. So, but I don't know. Do you need a license in Texas to own a gun or do you need a license just to conceal carry? Because I'm not going to conceal carry, so I would just have it in, like, a locked drawer in my house. So I could go to the store right now. Not right now, right now, because it's fucking late. But I could go to the store at any point, and I could just buy one, walk out with it, that, like, right then and there, and that's it. Wow, if the answer is yes, wow. Yo, that's kind of scary when you think about it. If the answer is yes to that, that's kind of scary when you fucking think about it. Like, not even a background check. Let me see. Who's your favorite camera guy? Uh, it was always Victor. Definitely scary because not everyone has good intentions when it comes to the, the firearms, dude. Let me see. What is this? Off topic. Can I have a YouTube mod so I can be read in Discord? Uh, you cannot get mod because I don't know you and you, I have to know you to get mod. But thank you very much, Ziggy. I appreciate it, homie. 
one name as an example, Chris, Christina Grimmy. I don't know who that is. Who's Christina Grimmy? No check on rifles or shotguns. I know, bro, at fucking Walmart, they have shotguns and rifles and stuff. But uh, I don't think Walmart has any good selection of guns. You know what I mean? It's all like hunting shit where you have to, it's like bolt action hunting shit. And that's not good self defense because I'm not a good shot. Christina Grimmie got shot at a fan meetup. Oh, well, that's awful. But that's sort of, uh, that doesn't help my case because I would not conceal carry because that shit is, I think, a little dangerous. So, at least for me. Let me see. You got a good shotgun from there? Well, I guess Walmart does have some good shit then. If they have pump action, then that's fine. Any plans of going to San Marcos River this summer? I mean, I don't even know what that is, but uh, sure, maybe. Worried about keyboard warriors? You know, I'm not worried about keyboard warriors. It's just like, you know, more so about people that have nothing to lose. Because I've met a lot of those people. Okay, let me give you a story. There was this one viewer. I let him in my house. He came, he brought food. I let him in my house. He brought his friend. His friend came and cried to me and like literally tears down his face crying to me. This was like a year ago. And you know, he was like, "You, I think you're my God and I love you and all this other shit. I want to be your slave. He, you know, they said all this stuff to me or his friend said that to me. And then the guy who came in with the food, he was like, uh, he also said he wanted to be my fucking slave. And I'm like, I, you don't need to do all that. Sorry. No, thank you. Fucking, I'm not your God. I'm just a dude. Like, relax, dude. Then we smoked a blunt. And then, like, three days ago, he DMs me, like, a year later. And he's like, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, all this other shit. Like, you fucking, I guess he's mad because I haven't been streaming consistently. I don't really know. But he was just saying really fuck, like, really weird shit. And I was like, okay. That kind of scares me, dude. Because in that, in combination with what, you said to me or what your friend said to me a year ago that's like you know people like that kind of scare the fuck out of me so it's not a keyboard warrior but it's just like obviously people who have fucking problems um so it's it's a little bit dangerous <laughs> but i mean i've heard that multiple times and then I mean, listen if anybody in the chat thinks that i'm their god that's you, you gotta stop <laughs> I'm not, that's not, that's not healthy. You know what I mean? I told him that I'm like, dude, that's not healthy. You gotta like, bro, we can be friends or whatever, but like, I'm not no, I'm not anybody's God, bro. Like you need to relax. And he was like crying and shit. I'm like, dude, just, just relax. Let's smoke this fucking blunt. And just, I'm like, dude, you need to stop. So people like that scare the fuck out of me. Like you gotta have some boundaries. Boundaries are very fucking important. Otherwise uh, you could end up fucking having over expectations and then when it doesn't work out the way you see it in your head you fucking go mental but i still respect it i i, I respect that you know i respect the uh the the loyalty but it's just like damn like let's have some boundaries Your header says live streaming God, by the way. Sure, but that's not to be taken, uh, you know, real realistically. That's just like a, like a funny little meme, dude. I mean, for, you guys met, you guys saw, you, uh, some of you could probably remember that dude that came to my house only a couple months ago and he gave me $500 and he was like, yeah, if this girl, does, if this girl streamer doesn't hit me back up, I'm just going to kill myself. Like that, like people like that, like they exist. Like motherfucker, like I'm serious. You know, y'all probably remember that dude. And he was in the discord and all this shit. I'm just like, damn, like I was scared for my life when that dude was at my house. I was like, damn, thanks for $500. But I really thought he was about to like pull out a knife and stab me because why the fuck would he give me $500? And then say all this weird ass fucking shit like that scared the fuck out of me because you people give their shit away when they're about to commit some heinous act. So that that scared me, dude. I was like, all right, yo, this guy's giving me everything he has just so he can fucking kill me now. 
And I don't know where that dude is now. Hopefully he's fine. He's probably fucking, hopefully in a mental hospital, but who knows? Let me see. From what I've seen, you haven't had any friends in a little aside from Vold and Kimberly. You have people that just want to be around you. I mean, uh, you know, not everybody, but some people for sure. Let me see. I'm not trying to scare you, but I told my friend that I thought you would get shot. Well, hey, I mean, it makes sense, dude. Like I said, I'm a very open dude, so... It, and I haven't taken many precautions in my life, so it, it, it makes sense why you would think that. Have I heard from Boldasad? I have not ho heard from Boldasad since I've moved here. I'm sure he's fine. I hope he's good. I don't know. I haven't really messaged him, so I might have to message him, see if he's okay, but yeah, I'm sure he's fine. I'm trying to think of like what was the most weirdest or like most dangerous situation I've been in with a viewer. I can't really name any to be honest. I've never been in a dangerous situation with a viewer. I've only had some obviously, you know, so some people around me that were obviously like they could snap, but I played my cards right. You know what I mean? Alaska wasn't a viewer, so I'm not even going to, let's not even think about Alaska. That was just an, un, you know, fortunate uh, bunch of circumstances that happened with uh, callers. But yeah, I mean, whenever I see, whenever I notice somebody who's obviously not all there, I try to, I don't know, like I sort of just lie to them. I'm just like, yeah, you know, this and that. Like I just agree with them to make them feel good and then have them go away. And then I block them. And maybe that's not the right move, blocking them, but at least, like, I just I, I just have to give them a reality check because, you know, some people are just cr crazy, man. Let me see the car swatting at the terror deck at the stream side. We're picking you up. That, But those, those weren't viewers, though. Those were uh, police. How many subs do I need to get important people on Discord? Uh, Brent, the important people on Discord are people that have, like, been on stream and, like, done commendable things and you know stuff like that do you think boldest has cutting ties ps keep it up loving a new city of vibes my controls for patrick as well it's hard to lose family thank you swamp i appreciate it um he's not lost yet but he's he's fucked like he's he's definitely fucked uh, yeah um i don't think boldest has cutting ties i just think he's doing like he's he's dealing with his own you know his own self you know building himself up as a human being you know he's he's working on himself right now If you didn't block, you just add more fuel to the fire and your dams would be flooded even more. Yeah, a little bit. If I were you, I would leave ice. Dude got raided and lost all his stuff because of ice. Ice is setback for Boldasad. Burger Bud, you're looking at it the wrong way, dude. I, I don't think I was ever a setback to Voldasad. I think that... I mean, I've only been you know, a friend to him for the past couple of years. So I don't think I was ever a setback if, I mean, sure. We've had a lot of things happen like swattings and evictions and all this other shit. But at the end of the day, I did my best to try to be a good friend and, you know, support everyone around me. So, and it's not like somebody who lives with me doesn't know the expectation. So I don't know. I mean, how many of you would live with me knowing that the potential for eviction is there and the potential for swatting or any other, you know, stream shit is there? I mean, especially if I'm doing my best to support everyone around me. I think that, a lot, yeah, I mean... Uh, the chat speaks for itself. I think a lot of you guys would because it, it's not really that much of a setback if, as long as you have healthy expectations in your head. You know, when I, for every apartment that I've ever lived in, I've never attached myself to that place of living. You know what I mean? I've never 
unpacked. I've I only ever unpacked my computer because I was like, this is a place where I stream. This my 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 place of living is also my place of work, and you know, so I could get evicted because you can't really work out of a residential place. It's just, especially with the, the kind of stuff that I've you know that I that I've been doing. So, um, you know, I've always had that expectation, and if you know somebody that lives with me doesn't have that expectation, then I mean that's you know, something that they should have changed. No, because you're apparently weird off stream and don't talk. I mean, I'm a little weird off stream for sure. Uh, I mean, I, I do talk with my friends. I don't talk to every, you know, fucking person around me for sure. But if I'm close to you, I, I talk. Let me see. How do you, you act when you first started streaming and have zero viewers? Uh, I mean, when I first started streaming, I mean, I was a little bit more laid back and chill. I don't really remember my first stream, my first couple of streams. I was I was pretty laid back. I wasn't really like, you know, exerting tons of energy. It was just uh, when I, you know, within the first couple months, I started obviously can you know, letting out lots of energy when I stream. But my first couple, like two or three streams, I was very like, I was stoned. Like I was not sober. I was fucking high as fuck. So I was very laid back. And I, I was, you know, very sarcastic and dry. So that was it. And then it started getting into something a little bit, you know, more energetic. And those were the those were the times where I had like 40 viewers, you know what I mean? 30, 40 viewers. Paul, everyone, have you ever thought how crazy the internet is? Take a minute and look at what you're looking at. We are communicating over screens. Trust me, I'm not high, just texting more advanced. Yeah, and guess what? In 10 years, we're going to be talking to each other through virtual reality. How does that feel? George Allen, yeah. There was, uh, I don't know how many of you remember George Allen. He's... Uh, he was just this guy that was possessing inside of my body. And yeah, I mean, if George Allen was, was me off stream, basically, it was just very, I used it to test settings on my streams, but it was like an alternate channel that I had. And I just was very laid back and I didn't really talk, but I was just there. You know what I mean? Please don't. People don't give you credit. People don't give you enough credit. Very switched on. Uh, no, people give me plenty of credit. DM, DMX, I'm pretty sure. Just not everybody's obligated to tell me about the credit. Testing throw. I also had another account called Testing Throwaway. Yeah. I was uh, talking a little bit more on that, though. It wasn't so chill. It was, definitely wasn't George Allen. So it's just an alternate channel I had. Let me see the channel. Yeah, George Allen does still exist. I just don't know the password to it. I don't know how it has 10K subs, though, <laughs> to be fucking honest with you. Actually, there are some, some VODs. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's go to the very first George Allen stream here. Let's see what this shit consisted of, because I don't even remember. This shit was just me testing some settings. This one's not a very good one. Let's see. I did, there was this one. This was back in 2017. Let me see, where's the ones where I'm like talking though? Here, this one. There we go, some good old days right here. And here you go, I'm still vaping, as you can see. Nothing has changed. There we go, nice big old vape. This was the content right here, dude. Literally just didn't talk.
Except you were single then. No, no, this that was uh, I was I was with Haley at that point, so wasn't uh, wasn't even single. <laughs> Yeah, none of the George Allen ones are very... Oh, actually, there was this one. This one's memorable. What is this? Should be muted. He just likes to sleep over at people's houses. Why the Nothing wrong with that. What's up, Solar? He just wants his cut, bro. He just wants his dude, cut. Dude, I, I walked in... Shaved Voldesat, dude. ...to the kitchen one day, yeah. and I did... I didn't think cornbread was sleeping on the couch. Sure. Walk out I, naked I, I, like you no, normally do? I go over to the couch. Well, we were talking about some drama over here, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, everyone knows from, from YouTube. I think the podcast, if he gets a lot of... I, know, I don't know why I'm lagging right now. Fucking internet's fucking shitting out. What the fuck's going on? Here, let me uh, let me fix this buffer. All right, that should, that should help a lot. People on is going to get a lot of viewers. I think real, real talk af here. after like two years, he might be able to pull a good like 1,200. Real talk, like, do you miss being able to interact with your chat besides just through donations? Like actually read questions and answer questions? What do you mean? Like when you got 200 viewers back in the day. I can still read the chat. It's not as personal, but I still see stuff. For sure. What were we talking? I think we were talking about Andy Milanakis or something, dude. Or this is like the cornbread drama or something. Do you have the fidget spinner to go with us? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember when we all were fucking using fidget spinners. <laughs> Look at me. With you. Hold on, I need to vape with this with the spinner. Bro, that's some funny shit. Yeah, so that was just that was George Allen just talking about just just fucking testing shit, but also you know just doing like chill stuff. And then let's see, we go up. What was the last George Allen thing? Yeah. This was all during the Terror Deck days. Y'all probably remember this screen. This is the Terror Deck days. That's why I fucking always tested my shit. With the live view, it always works, so I don't need to test it. And then there's Greek. What do you think of this? There's Jacob. Uh, sweet. Though I show you not Greek, literally, at this, uh, when he was staying at my house, he literally didn't move off that couch for, for, for months, dude. Literally, <laughs> and he was on that spot for like literally two weeks straight. <laughs> like this shit was had like a mark, dude. Let me see. And there's nothing else really here that's too interesting. There's snow here, it looks like. No, no snow. But wait, this is... Oh, what is this? What the fuck is this? So it's not something you do from one day to another. It's something that you need to think about properly. You're right. I think I for I, I think what I, I over the a, a long period of time, you actually have a really good point. I've forgotten how to think uh, about 
I don't know, like things such as like that. Cause I spent a lot of yeah, time. Yeah. This is just... when I was taking fucking discord calls for advice about, uh, depression or something. Just looking at things. And then we like, did the sleep stream right after this. It's about myself that are happening now. Like, you know, things on Reddit, things on Twitter. This is stuff that's happening right now. And I spent all my time looking at this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, honestly. So I, I can't think... think about the future. And also, I also think, well, that. Why do I look like a fucking burrito? Needed, that I needed to hear, you know what I mean? He didn't say shit that I wanted to hear. Oh, I'm just gonna leave Team Viewer open. That's a good idea. And then I'll just—that's when we were talking about the sleep stream. Let's see. What is this? With Mexican Andy, bro, he looks so much younger. Hold on, I'll show the screen. Where is this? I mean, I, I didn't even bring extra clothes. That is so fucking ridiculous, dude. Dude, I didn't bring extra clothes. White people. I should have brought more clothes. White people have extra clothes, right? Probably. But Guatemalans don't, apparently. Oh, I don't know. Bro. That's a one-time thing, though. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, Max Andy looks so different, dude. And then we have here, we have Kermit. Oh, dude, fucking Kermit, dude. Oh, uh, dude, I miss Kermit. He's a good dude. And then this is uh, my original sleep stream. This is the very first sleep stream I ever did, but it was on George Allen. That's Chris, this guy I knew. This is literally way before my actual sleep stream in Ibiza that I did. This I literally just slept. I think I was testing uh, sleep streams or something. I don't really know. Let's see, and then there's Etika. All right, here we go. I got to focus now. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, man. Sixteen hundred Vine days. I know. Isn't that crazy, dude? Play him in Smash. I don't have my Switch set up. I mean, I could get it set up. I don't really know. I have to, like, connect it to the internet and, like, do all this other stuff, though, but... I would just win and smash, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I've been through like eight different apartments. So this shit is like, that shit was so, and it, it, it was only a year ago or like, it was only two years ago, two years ago, but it feels like five years ago because it was like so much shit. We've gone through so much shit, dude. So it's just like crazy. I mean, something that, I mean, the Butler stream, which was what, two months ago? Dude, that shit feels like a year ago. But, it, but like, at least for me in my perspective, because so much has happened in my fucking perspective, so that's like, just, it's nuts. Let me see the best memories from each apartment. I mean, they all kind of fade together, but... Uh, it's hard to really say the best. I mean, 1600 Vine moved the very, the very first time I moved out of my parents' house and I went to that first apartment, I felt so liberated. I always wanted to get emancipated when I was younger because I always wanted to be independent. So I just felt so fucking liberated. And I was just, it was amazing. And then, you know, every apartment after that, just sort of, you know, different apartments, same vibes, you know, just different sort of feels. But that was like the one thing that I'm always going to remember. It's just the first time I got to LA, it was just out of my parents house I was like wow this is fucking weird I don't have any rules now like I could just do whatever the fuck I want type shit so but you know when I was like 15 or 16 I wanted to get emancipated because I like I said I didn't really want to but I thought I did because I was a fucking stupid kid so
If you had a production team of small, let me see, of volunteers from UA, you could come with some solid content. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could set up interviews and that could be fucking streamed all on its own, right? But, I mean, of course. No, I, I don't, I did not watch Game of Thrones today. I haven't really felt like doing anything today, to be honest, so. The only highlight of my day today is finally getting a Dragon Defender on RuneScape. That was my highlight of today. <laughs> Fucking, I was there for literally four days trying to get a Dragon Defender. I've got it today, so round of applause for me. But uh, besides that, no. No highlights today. I need more hobbies. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think I need hobbies. I mean, I have fun just playing video games, to be honest, for the most part. That video games are my hobby. So, show us Kim's room. Well, Kim's room is my room. You know, we share the same room. So, uh, I, I don't want to show you guys any other part of the house because obviously people will just get the interior and fucking dox me so i'd rather not dreamhack dallas uh i don't know probably not gonna go to dreamhack dallas i don't see the point i mean i could go but i mean i don't know last time i went to dreamhack the experience wasn't that great so i would rather not start working out again i don't really have the motivation for that dude i would love to work out again i just wish i fucking didn't hate myself every time i did i was like wow i'm I can't lift even half the weight I used to. Like, I'm a weak little fuck. Okay, this one's out of battery. Hold on. Oh, I cleaned out my ears today. Look at this. This was all in my ears today. Look at this. I don't even know what this is, dude. Look, it's black. It's literally just big black fucking earwax. It's the first time I cleaned my ears out in like forever, dude. And this shit was just fucking, this shit's disgusting. We have like a little spoon, like a little scooper spoon. We scooped it out. I don't know how that happens, to be honest. But I mean, I, when I take a shower, I try to get in there, but it's just the shit's deep. Like, I, we went deep as fuck, and it hurt my eardrum when we scooped the shit out, but it was fucking worth, worth it. I could hear so much better. I mean, I'm not, I'm not dabbing that. I'm not, I'm not smoking my earwax. That's going to make me throw up, and I probably get some kind of illness from that, to be honest. Some sort of fucking disease. What are you saving it for? Well, I'm not really saving it. I just haven't thrown it away yet. It's just, it's, so it's just sitting on my counter right here next to me. So, I mean, when I did boxing, that was really fun. That was like a hobby of mine. I really enjoyed that. But I, uh, I don't know. I just stopped. I got fucking, it, it got old, I guess. Once we did the UFC X2, I was like, all right, well, this shit got old. So let me see. I get ear infections. I clean my ears every few days. Well, I've never had an ear infection. I guess I consider myself lucky then. Pugger booger. Yeah, EBZ can uh, pick this out. He can eat it. So, I don't know. Let me see. Yes, two vapes. One for the buzz, one for the cloud. I mean, this is a jewel. It's, there's no clouds to be had here. Strictly for the buzz. I don't have big, I do have big mod vapes, but I don't use them anymore because they don't really give me any sort of buzz. So, uh, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't feel as satisfying. When I smoke the Jewel or like the Soren, it fucking, it's very satisfying. Train MMA, it's more fun than boxing. Yeah, but it's like the same thing though. I just got bored of it, so I don't know. Let me see. To be honest, your immune system is better than most clean people. I mean, I don't really get that sick. I get the, I get a cold or like a flu once every six months, and that's about it. Like, I've never had any sort of like major infection or anything like that. So I guess my 
uh, I guess my immune system is pretty good. How much money do you get to? How much money to get you to stream a Skyrim play playthrough? Well, I don't like Skyrim, but I mean, I don't know, dude. What are you talking? How much are you talking? I mean, I think Skyrim's the most boring fucking game in the world, dude. It's just so fucking dragged out and long. Am I ever gonna try Rust again? It's good. I'll probably try Rust again, but it's just not today. I hope you don't. Kim, she is too good. What does that mean? Yo, what's going on, Huffy? Yeah, so Kimberly actually cleaned my ears out. It wasn't me. She she really enjoys fucking cleaning my shit out. I don't know why, but she just fucking loves it. And I, I think it feels fucking good. I love that shit. It feels really nice. But, um, I don't know. Okay, chat. Well, I'm not feeling good. I'm uh, still pretty sad. So, in case you don't know, my fucking dog is going to die. So, that's why he has fucking brain tumors and cancer and shit. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll feel better tomorrow. I just need some sleep. But, uh, my, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, we'll be in Florida at some point when, uh, when the time comes to put him down, I guess. So, but... That doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, all right. Well, I just wanted to come on, talk for a little bit, and that was it. Do a Reddit recap. And that you know, not not really too much, to be honest. I'm just not feeling it today. So I'm sorry about that. But uh yeah. Fucking all of you guys, thank you for listening to me fucking ramble for the past hour. I feel very lucky to be able to just go live and ramble to a bunch of people when I'm feeling down. So, I mean, no content, so I'm sorry about that, but you know, this was more for me than anything else. Like I just needed to let off some, some steam. Cause I mean, besides Kimberly, I mean, who do I talk to? So, I mean, I guess I could talk to like fans or whatever that I've met in Austin so far, but I don't really like talking to viewers about deep shit. I prefer, to, I mean, I, I talked, I, I prefer to talk to viewers about deep shit, on stream because I'm still by myself when I am talking to somebody face to face about deep shit. It just, it just feels weird to me. I just don't like it. Like I barely talk to Kimberly about deep shit. Cause it just feels fucking weird to me. Like, I don't know. It's much easier. It's much easier when I'm talking to a camera because I'm still alone in this room. So it's, it's very like, like it's just different. I don't know. I'm not very good with expressing my emotions, but, uh, I don't know, but yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'll be uh, streaming fucking tomorrow, so don't worry about that. And I won't be sad, so... I mean, I don't... I'm not sad for very long. It's just today was a shitty day, so... Uh, all right, well, I'll see you guys later. Fucking love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Better vibes, so... Later, dude. See ya. Thank you, and goodbye.